welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time, we figured out who's behind the counterfeiting scheme, but we also have to kill Ulrich in the process. We gave him a choice. He chose wrong. What the fuck? Um. Excuse me? Stop closing the door! I'm trying to get in! My mate, my mate, my... Wait, you're not my age. You're also not my age. Wait a minute. Are you in this? Nope. Not even trying that. He's upstairs. Well, this time we're gonna figure out what Razzig did with him. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Bernard to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Well. Which one's for, which one's which? Really? He's over there, actually. Alright, so I just sell Ulrich's armor, and I'm basically even. Because I have a new. Yes, it's another axe. What is going on? Why can't I not fast travel all of a sudden? Little bitch will be upgraded again. Um, did I get any points or anything? No. Apparently, you can get a dog. I didn't know that. I kind of want a puppy now. Be the best boy. But that's beside the point. It's a very good point. I know, well, eventually did torment just for the heck of it, even though it's DLC. Might as well do it, just for fun. Henry's becoming such a uh, champion at fighting, so his strength is unmatched. Agility on their hand. Oh, I didn't repair my stuff, did I? God save you. Can I ask? Uh, okay, right Thank there. you. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, so Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. You know Thanks. what? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. I'd like to learn to fight better with an axe. Certainly. Well, hey. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Okay. So 
I wanted the new Perkin axe, because that's basically all. Okay, I can't do the training yet for the ma what I want, which is the master strike with the axe. But we don't. Excuse me. I'm not gonna remember this. Stab slash from the left, dash from the bottom right. Because dumb is probably st won't let me fast travel because it's right there. Oh, now you want me fast travel? Okay. Actually, I need to repair my stuff. I'm thinking about it. Which is not gonna be a fun cost. There was nighttime when I came here originally, it was uh, two people. Sorry, now it's like wandering the day, it's kind of weird. Let's see how much repairing everything's going to cost me. Well, we'll take care of this guy. Henry, I'm glad you came. What do you want with well, me? Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. Wait, and... If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. What? It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. It's your crimes against the king I'm worried about. The king you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What, what I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Wait, what? How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Hmm. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Hmm. Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. What is Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? 
Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. Good air. This Eric? You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Huh. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I'll have to think about it. I don't want to annoy Sir Radzig. Well, Ricky's still alive. That's a huge plus. I'm gonna shop open now because I need to repair my stuff. Nope. Oh, can't cheese my way through that. Hopefully, Radzig's not stuck somewhere again because I'd rather just see him out in the open. Probably up there. Yep. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. Worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. Really? So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know. But he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasau and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm, I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. As you command, sir. I didn't promise anything. Hey, 
team save. Thank you. We have to go to Sassel again? You think people in Sassel would know who exactly who I am? You think they go to like a different town that have like, we you know, no, no, dip, dir, 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 dir about it. Fresh bread, come and get it. Man cannot live by bread alone. But it's okay, what is going on with this place? This place annoys me. It should be open by now. All right, I will meet you back in Sassanel. 